good to be here. Glad that you are able to be here with me. I've got a song that I'm wanting to play, and I don't know if it's going to work or not, but um, I remember hearing this and singing this when I was just a kid. I mean, it was a kid song, but uh, I happened to come across it today, and I just want you to listen to it. It ain't but a couple minutes is all it is. generally ever start out a message with a song, but, you know, sometimes you have to do a few things a little bit different. You have to sort of uh, be willing to try new things, and uh, that little song came up, and I just thought, well, that song has got a lot of great words. The song title is This Little Light of Mine. You know, I'm not responsible for anybody else's light. I really am not. Uh, I'm responsible for my light. You notice the title of the song, This Little Light of Mine. Uh... I like the words to the song. Um, there's one verse in John chapter 1, and there's many verses that talk about the light, but the first place that the light is mentioned is in John chapter 1, verse 4. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. In him 
was the light of men. You know, I want to think that that's the reason that I have a desire to come out here and play that song and to tell you the title, This Little Light of Mine. Again, my light might not really matter. You know, I'm in a room that it's probably 10.30, maybe 11 a.m., outside so the sun is shining some people have even mentioned about the fact that you know it needs to be brighter well I don't really care I mean you can tell that I've got the flag up here but you can't see it um, this light shines down on my Bible I'm certainly not out here advertising me. Um, I need a haircut. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm letting my little light shine. It ain't a very big light. I used to have a I used to have a lot and I don't know if I can pull this off or not. I hadn't messed with this in years. I haven't messed with this in years. And I don't even know if it even work or not. It's an emergency light. And the emergency light is that in order for you to have light, you have to mash the... You see, as long as the light is being mashed, it's only an instant light. See how it's working? You mash this, and it generates enough electricity to turn the light on. It's it's not anything that you would use. You can't pump it and pump it and the light stay on. It only works when you mash the handle down. Well, you know, a lot of people will go and say, well, Ken, that's a picture of, of work salvation. As long as you do your part, the light will shine. Well... I don't happen to believe in work salvation. I believe that when the light comes in you, I believe the Lord is able to keep you turned on when the Lord comes inside you. When the Lord comes inside you, He's able to ignite your light. It would be like me coming out here with a a match and a candle and I would light that candle this little light you notice it didn't say this huge light it says this little light of mine my light my light let's see how it works in the dark so you can see a little bit of the background but see, it's nice to depend on the light above. When the light above gets turned on, you got a light. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm doing today with these few minutes that I've spent so far. I'm letting my light shine. Now, in that song, I wrote down the verse of just the subtitle. Everywhere I go, I don't just turn on my light when I get to the nursing home. I don't begin to start mashing my light when I just get to the nursing home. 
I want to think that I attempt to try to be used of God in every place that I go in some fashion. Maybe not in preaching a message, but you know, yesterday when I left the nursing home, I left each person in that room a gospel track. Not so much for them as it would be for a person that they might not know that they could use it as a witness to give them the track. Now, you know, if the shoe fits, wear it. If a person was in the service and they was lost, the track is for them. If they happen to know the Lord, they could turn that track in to a gospel message for somebody else. I know for a fact that a dear little lady I gave a track to years ago gave it to an, another man that the man was the husband of the lady that was in the room with her. And he gave that track to that man. And that man began to start reading that track. And he ultimately ended up getting saved over that one track that I gave to another lady. I didn't give it to him. The first thing that he asked me when I met the man, would it be all right if he comes down to the service? And I was so happy. I want him to the Lord. He was 94 years old. I believe he was 94. He come to know a risen Lord. And see, today he's born again. Now, does he read in his Bible every day? Maybe not. He's at the age of where his eyes are really bloodshot. Is his light shining? I'm not around him that much, but I believe that the light could be shining in that little in that man. I sure believe that it could be. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let my little light shine. The light that I have, the light that he's given me. Here's another subtitle of the song that it listed. All in my house, I'm going to let the light shine. You know, I'm not, again, I'm not responsible for what others do with the light. My job is to be the light or let the light be visible. It ain't my light. It's the Lord's light in me. My job is to let the light be shown in all of my house. My wife knows how I feel. My mom-in-law knows how I feel. My brothers, I believe, know how I feel. My nieces, my family. I have not been ashamed to anybody in my family. It says all in my house. I only have my wife that lives in my house, and I'm not ashamed to tell her that she needs the Lord. She needs to get in her Bible. She needs to study God's Word. She needs to read God's Word. She needs to open it up. She needs to understand what the word of God is truly saying. That's what that's what that's what she needs. All in my house, this little light of mine is going to shine. It goes into another subsection of the song out in the dark. I'm going to let my light shine out in the dark. Where's the dark places? Some people would say it's out here in your room, Ken. You're in the darkness. 
No, the dark that I believe that the song is referring to, the darkness of this world. Now, you know what? This room might be a good example of the dark places of the world. I could turn the light off again, and this room would be somewhat darker, a lot darker. But it says, out in the dark, well, that verse says, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. So Jesus is that little light that lives in me. Now, I want to think that I've been faithful so far in being a light in the darkness of this world. And I looked up the definition of famous. And what I wrote down here, my light may never be famous. And I'll be the first one to tell you in the closing minutes that I have that my light probably will never, ever be famous. But I looked up that word famous and it was just a very simple sentence. The word famous means known about to many people. I might not be known to many people. That is very true. My light may never be famous. But you know what? It's my light. This little light of mine. Whatever you value this video, some people will no doubt probably laugh and say that there's foolish. Well, I don't think it is. Because we all are going to give an account for the light that we have right now. We all going to have, give an account to God for the light we are. And many people is going to be caught in the darkness. Out in the dark. You know, well, this thing here is not valuable right now today. It ain't been used in, I bet I ain't picked this up in 10 years. But, you know, it don't have batteries in it. It has no need of the battery because this thing here works by friction. As long as you're mashing it, it lights up. If you're hunting your keys on the ground, this probably would help find your keys on the ground. A little lot like this that don't run on batteries but it works on the amount of how much we we mash the handle. What am I saying? I'm going to let my little light shine. I'm going to let it shine wherever I go, Lord willing. All in my house already knows where I stand. And I'm going to let the light shine even in the darkness. Because my little light may never be famous. It may not be known about to many people. But you know what? If it's known to just one, and one is able to come to the knowledge of the Son of God, then that light comes in the light of men. That's what this verse 4 says here. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. So, you know, let me close with just this one little sentence. I may not be known to many people, As long as I am known to God. That's really what it's all about. Being known to God. Is my little light shining today? I hope so. Is your light shining today? I hope it is. The only way your light's going to shine, is going to shine in salvation. Jesus has to come in to give you that light. 
And that light comes in the word salvation. And without salvation, your life has no light. Oh, you can produce light. I can produce light. But after a while, that gets tiresome. After a while, we we get tired. If I had to use this every day for every little thing that I want to do, it'd get tiresome after a while. I think I'd want to find me a flashlight. I'd love for I'd love to find a, a lot that you can just turn on and let it be battery powered. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You know, it don't take much of a match to start a forest fire. It takes a willing match put in the right position to get the fire started. Maybe this might help somebody today, I don't know. Elderly Ministry is the YouTube channel. That's where you find all the videos. There's a link to the YouTube channel on my website, elderlyministry.com. You can go to Elderly Ministry and find the link there in the, in the middle of the page under Ministry Nuggets. And that's where you'll find a bunch of videos. I'd ask you to go there and grab you a video. Go hunt you a video. Go find you one. Ask the Lord to give you one that you can use, that you can uh, understand. The Lord will guide you to the right message. He's just waiting on that little light of yours to get turned on. And I hope it is. Thank you all for tuning in.